Hello, my name is iKing Sky. So we're back with another video, and I just got done watching Raw, and it was okay. It was an okay show. I love seeing Edge. That's the that's the pros of being in the road to WrestleMania is that you get to see part timers. Well, not even a part timer like Edge, but you get to see big superstars often, and that's a good that's a good way to kick off my road to WrestleMania. But I just wanted to talk about The Fiend, Randy Orton, and Alexa Bliss. Mostly Alexa Bliss and Randy Orton. Now, I wanted to talk about them just because I want to say that it might this might just be a problem. The reason why this might just be a problem is because this is going to continue for a long, long time. I don't know where The Fiend is. But if this continues for a long, long time, this is going to get old real quick. And not only that, but people are going to get bored of it. And when you have a superstar involved in a boring angle or anything like that, guess what? People are going to hate that character that's in that boring storyline. You have seen past superstars are past people or wrestlers like this that have been involved in these boring uh, storylines and that has been ruined from this one example could be bailey like the good bailey was involved in so many horrible storylines that people started eventually booing her alistair black involved in so many boring storylines and I don't want to say people turn on him, but it's it's kind of like the same situation. Seth Rollins, same boring storylines. You see, you see the gist. And I do not want Alexa Bliss to be in, put in the same situation. Neither do I want Randy Orton because he has definitely been in that position before, where people just hated to see him on television. And this Randy Orton Alexa Bliss thing, it's cool. It was cool when they started like Randy Orton burned the fiend and then Alexa Bliss switched the category, but um, it's kind of getting old. Let's have a end result here. If if I'm if I'm saying, you know, let's have an end result here. But it is entertaining to say the least. But I'm telling you right now, though, it's not going to be entertaining if you do this again, again, and again. The theme needs to come back, or you guys just need to break this up a little while, or you guys need to have some type of result or ending to this solution. Because <laughs> if I'm Ray Yorton, I'm taking her out of the situation. The theme isn't here. <laughs> The Fiend isn't here to protect Alexa Bliss. I mean, I know he RKO'd Alexa Bliss, but, you know, the fact that she even got back up, I'm just saying, if I was Randy Orton, I would go to a mod extreme to take her out. Especially if you're dealing with a superhuman like Alexa Bliss and The Fiend. I just don't understand. But, the one problem that it is is that it's just taking too long to resolve it. I want The Fiend to either come back next week or the week after. If that doesn't, then there's not really much we can branch off into this Alexa Bliss and Randy Orton type thing. Let me know what you guys think. I just wanted a quick discussion about Randy Orton and Alexa Bliss and where this might just go. I have no idea. See what you guys think. My name is Ike. Please guys like, subscribe, and thanks. Thanks for watching.